Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Tina. In today's video, I'll show you how to create DIY Chinese New Year crafts on a budget. In particular, I'll show you how to make beautiful lanterns out of red packets. This amazing modern meat traditional Chinese New Year wreath. Simple and elegant wall Chinese New Year wall decoration using construction papers. Finally, some cool and fun little fortune cookies. You'll need four red packets to make the main body of the lantern. First, take a red envelope, close the opening, fold lengthwise, then fold widthwise. Once you have formed the crease, take a corner of the envelope and fold it towards the middle of the crease like so. Then continue to take the other corners of the envelopes and fold it towards the middle of the crease. Your envelope should look like this. Second, continue the same process with the rest of the red envelopes. Third, take two envelopes, face the unprinted sides against each other using a small stapler, staple twice along the crease. This is how it should look like. Take the third envelope, face the unprinted side against one of the stapled envelope like so. Make sure they are aligned neatly before you staple. Staple twice. This is how the three envelopes together looks like. Next, we'll make the handle of the lantern using this beautiful golden wrapping cord, form a loop, and use a cello tape to secure it onto your lantern. Measure the length of the handle. Here I'm using the length of another lantern I just made. Then take the fourth red envelope and staple twice. This is how your lantern looks like. It's coming along already. Now, before you go ahead and staple twice along the crease of each corner, make sure your lantern is not flat. Push it out with your fingers if necessary. Same process as before. For a neater look, keep the direction of the staple pins along the top and bottom corner in the same direction. Continue to do the same for other bottom corners, but just do not close one side yet. Finally, use an envelope to make the tassel for the lantern. Fold half inch lengthwise along the top, cut fringe, then wrap it around your fingers. Here I use my stapler as a measurement to make sure that my stapler can go through the tassel to secure it. Here is how it looks like. Next, using this golden elastic ribbon to secure the tassel to the bottom of the lantern. Again, I am using the same length of another lantern I just made. To secure the elastic ribbon to the tassel, I stapled twice like so. And it should look like this. Then make a knot like so. Here I am keeping the same length as the previous lantern I just made. Tape it to the interior wall of the lantern. Make sure that your tassel is not tilted. Finally, close the bottom corner and staple twice. Voila! Here is your DIY Chinese New Year lanterns made out of red packets. So festive and easy to do. Look at how beautiful it is. Make sure to watch this video on how to make another type of lantern out of red packet. After you finish watching this video, link on the top right corner of your screen and in the description below. For the next tutorial, you'll need a wreath, flowers such as cherry blossom, red lantern spray, magnolia stem, long stem foliage, wire cutter, pair of scissors, twist tie, and wire edge ribbons. First, I cut off the ribbon that came along with the wreath. To make this beautiful modern meat traditional Chinese New Year wreath, I filtered my wreath with the long stem foliage and kept the center space for my bows later. Second, I filled in with the red lantern spray. Adjust the leaves and sprays as you go along. Artificial flowers are very easy to adjust. 
into the direction you want your flowers to face. So as you go along, make sure you are looking from a distance as to how it's forming along. In this step, I filled in my wreath with magnolia stem for a more fuller look. However, the next day, as you'll see, it was looking too bushy and so I removed the magnolia stems and some of the long stem foliage. Third, make your centerpiece bows. I wanted a huge bow on my wreath using three different bow patterns. The bow I'm making here is a simple ribbon with four loops. To do it, first decide on the size of your bow, form a loop and leave extras for the tail. It's better to have a longer tail than a shorter tail. You can always trim it if it's too long. Bring it to the center, pinch and hold them together. Second, form a second loop. Make sure the pattern of the ribbon is facing outwards. You might find it easier that as you are forming your loops to make your ribbon, bring the ribbon spool with you. What I mean is that if you are forming the loop on the right hand side, bring the ribbon spool to your right hand side. You just continue by forming the loop, pinching it together in center like so, and then hold them together with a twist tie or pipe cleaner. Next, make another bow with this red glittery ribbon. Do the same process as before. Here I decided that I wanted a slightly smaller bow compared to the burlap bow we just made. Don't worry too much if your bow looks a little flat at this point. We will fluff it up later. Since we are using wire aged ribbons to make our bows, it will hold its shape. Then go ahead and make another bow using this beautiful transparent golden ribbon. Once you're done making, you'll have three separate bows. Next, cut dovetail like so. Adjust the shape a bit before we layer them all up together. Use a red pipe cleaner to hold the three bows together onto the wreath like so. Then adjust the bows and fluff it up. Adjust where needed. To hide the red pipe cleaner, I layered red ribbon over it. Next, take two red packets, tape one over another and layer them like so. Use a double-sided tape to hold the red packets onto the wreath. What's happening at this point is I felt that my wreath was too bushy and removed all of the magnolia stems and some of the long stem foliage. I kept the bow as is and worked around it. You might have noticed that luckily I didn't have to use hot glue gun to hold the flowers onto my wreath, so that made it easier to rearrange my greens. For the final arrangement, I inserted this beautiful pink decorative flowers that looks almost like cherry blossom. Voila, here is my beautiful modern meat traditional Chinese New Year wreath. I absolutely loved how this wreath turned out. Red packets and pink flowers tied the look together. I loved the size of the bows and just enough sprays and greens that are needed here. This truly is my first time making a wreath like this and I am in love with it. For the third tutorial, we'll make Chinese New Year wall decoration art using four construction papers, red packet, glue stick and double-sided tape. This is a very simple craft. Take a sheet of construction paper and make an accordion fold like so. Simply a series of alternating folds. Fold it in the middle and glue them together. Glue stick holds the construction paper very well. Then go ahead and do the same process on the other three construction papers. Next, 
Join the corners using glue stick. Finally, use a double-sided tape to stick the red envelope in the middle of your wall art. Voila, here is your Chinese New Year wall Since my art. theme is red and golden, I loved how simply alternating red and yellow construction papers made this Chinese New Year wall art pop. Isn't it so beautiful? I loved it. Do you enjoy reading fortunes? Next is a very fun DIY custom fortune cookies using red napkins and glue sticks. Trace a round shape onto your napkins. Each napkin will make four fortune cookies. Take a yellow paper and fold it in the middle lengthwise. Here I'm measuring the length of the yellow paper so that it is just enough to be peeking out of the fortune cookies. Then cut out strips of paper. Here is the fun creative part for your family and friends. Write down all the good advice and good wishes. Fold your circle in half and apply glue sticks in the top middle like so. Make sure that the bottom portion is not flat. Push it out with your fingers if needed. Insert your fortune. Push it in the middle and glue the ends together like so. Continue with the same process on the other paper. Voila! Here are all your paper fortune cookies. A very fun way to get into festive spirit and share good thoughts and wishes with your family and friends. As always, I hope you found value in my video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, comment and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more quick and easy DIYs if you haven't done so. Be sure to watch this video on how to make 5 under $5 easy Chinese New Year decorations. You will be glad that you did. Be sure to watch my other videos. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.